Welcome. I'm from Amazon Arctel 1S and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of this phone. And when you boot it up for the first time, you'll be presented with this screen right over here. So start off by choosing your language right here. And from there, once you select it, press on start, which will take you to the next page, which is inserting a SIM card. Now this step is completely optional and you don't actually have to do it right now. You can do it later on. The moment you want to insert a SIM card, it will start working as intended. So no extra steps needed. So I'll be skipping this for now. And then on the next page, we have Wi-Fi connection. So if you have a Wi-Fi that you can connect to right now, go right ahead. If you don't, don't worry, you can simply skip it for now. By skipping it, you will um, lose the option to log into your Google account. And also date and time will need to be fixed manually. Uh, that is meaning if you didn't connect to Wi-Fi, nor did you insert a SIM card. So basically, if you have no internet connection right now. If you do, uh, then that just kind of goes out the window and everything should be in reverse. So date and time set automatically and Google account will show up. So anyway, I'm gonna be skipping this, meaning I'm not connecting to any kind of network. And there is the date and time, which I mentioned before. As you can see, it does actually give us the automatic option for some reason, which is a bit weird. And uh, it is actually being set correctly, which I am actually surprised by this. So anyway, let's go to the next option. And this brings us to the Google services. So we have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now, if you don't want any of those, you can deselect all of them. If you're not sure what they are, you can read whatever it's here, tap on the arrow to expand it. And from there, scroll down and select accept. Now this will bring us to the next page, which is setting up a screen locked or a device. Now it by default uh, automatically prompts us to select a fingerprint. And if you choose to do so, it will give us an option of a screen lock as well, because we cannot have just a fingerprint. We do have to have some kind of actual like screen lock. So if something happens with our finger, we have other ways of unlocking the device. So from here, select whichever one you want. I will go with a pattern. So draw or type in your pin, pattern, password, select next, and then repeat the same thing once more and confirm. And this will set it up. Now I will I will not be setting up a fingerprint, so I'll go back and select skip. Then it gives us the face unlock. Again, if you want this, you can uh, set it up. If you don't, then choose skip. We have some kind of enhanced uh, or display enhancement. So shows you how it will differ. Uh, basically what it looks like it does is uh, brings up exposure or yeah, brings it down actually and uh, adds a little bit of saturation to make the image a little bit more vibrant and pop a little bit more. Uh, if you want it, you can have it enabled. If you don't care for it, if you prefer this image right here, then turn them off. Then we have home screen style. So we have choice between two of them. We have the uh, app drawer and we have the uh, what I would call uh, iPhone feel. So iPhone feel has all the icons on the home screen. Well, the uh, first one actually has a app drawer which hides the apps away. Uh, and I will stick with the first one, which is the app drawer. And this completes the setup. So let's select finish and we should see the home screen after we uh, get interrupted by terms of service from Alcatel. So obviously we need to select agree. Uh, Junior Alcatel user experience uh, improvement programs. No thanks, I don't really want to. So skip, and there we go. We are now on the home screen. So that is how you can go through the setup of this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.